Betu beba tulikuwa baitano. Baka uwa batatu. Watu wote tu, walikuwa watu sita akini. Bote walikuwa wana. It's only crazy to see them killing uh, Congolese people, raping women, uh, girls in Congo. I can't uh, know how to explain it. What do you say to women who've seen what these women have seen? Like, what do I have to bring to these women, you know, as like hope or encouragement or anything? My immediate reaction was, there's no way my little girl is going to the Congo, although there's you know, this fragile peace in Congo, um, rape still happens, and, and it's this weapon, not just against women, but against all of society. It consumed all of my thoughts. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, and I just had to go. Hearing the stories, it's just kind of like this surreal sort of experience, you know? It's like you hear, these words are going into your ears, but it's kind of just like, that can't be true. That can't have actually happened. There's millions of people who have been killed in Congo since 1996, um, which is incredible life loss, and the world is largely unaware of it. If there's something that we can do, that will change the lives of their children, who will then look back and be like, what was it that was different about my mom? What did she impart to me? And it'll be different for them and for their kids. What's your hope for the future for Congo? Mungu asaidie vita ishi mukongo. Yes. When you look into a woman's eyes and you see that this is a person, a person just like you, you know, someone with a past and a future. I mean, that's that's the only way to really to feel like the weight of it.